Welcome to the SCP Foundation Anomaly Safety Manual. If SCP-682 breaches containment the threat level will be critical. Members of staff are advised to quickly make their way to their nearest safe room and stay quiet. SCP-682 movements will be documented through the use of security cameras in hallways or rooms which are believed to hold SCP-682 will be locked down. Hydrochloric acid will spray down from the additional sprinklers placed in all hallways nearby SCP-682 containment chamber. A well-armed mobile task force unit will recover SCP-682 and return it to its containment chamber. If you encounter SCP-682, Hey, get the fuck back! Get Hello there, doctor. Please take a seat. I presume that you have been informed about the reason for this interview. Well, staff members didn't inform me about the reason for this, but I can make my own conclusions. Good, good. Anyways, as you may know, we have seized this facility. No members or staff will be harmed as long as they don't do anything... rash. That is fair enough, but if you do not mind me asking, why have you taken this facility and began research on your own terms? Doesn't the Chaos Insurgency want to destroy the Foundation? Unlike our other branch, we seek to research our own anomalies for the betterment of humanity. But why fight against us? Truly, we are working towards a common goal. Wouldn't it be better? Well, because you keep your secrets behind locked doors. Now, I have a lot of questions to run through, so may we continue? Okay, so do you know about the takeover of this facility? From the looks of things, you've successfully taken over this facility. And now that you mention it, there was this thing running around the halls during the raid. Any comments? I'm the one who's meant to be asking questions, alright? Anyways, have you made the contact with the outside? No, I haven't. Okay then, could you tell us about Gavin Freeman? All his files say that he is, well... Dead. Well, yes, there's a reason for that. Mr. Freeman had an accident with SCP-173. He's now paralyzed from the waist down and is dealing with PTSD, including visual hallucinations. We kept him here and faked his death for his own benefit. Well, what did he do before the accident? He worked in international relations, and even in the film industry. He slipped little bits of information about SCPs into the projects he worked on. But why would you do that? I thought the Foundation was meant to be secretive. It was so if an SCP managed to escape the Foundation, the public wouldn't have a fucking panic attack. Sort of drip-feeding the public ideas of the abnormal, so they would have somewhat of a semblance of what to do. That doesn't make much sense to me. But nonetheless, what does Mr. Freeman do now? Well, now he's just an editor, helping us make training videos and such. On that topic, we did find some old training tapes. We are wondering if the information in them are still viable. They most likely are, unless you've been tampering with our SCPs. I do have to warn you, SCP-173 was damaged during the raid. Well, shattered, but the thing kept moving when we blinked, working autonomously, so we pieced it back together and we are conducting extra research just in case its behavior changes. Hmm. I was not expecting that. Well, if you would like me to oversee the research project, I wouldn't mind. Actually, we do need more researchers on the ICE-14 project. I'll talk with the higher-ups. That will conclude our interview. Our staff members will tell you about the project and if you're scheduled for another interview. Good day to you. Good day to you as well. Remember the acronym G. S is for finding safe rooms. H is for hide in safe rooms. And E is for evaluate your situation. Remember, the Foundation's duty is to secure, contain, and...